Hey, today I'm going to show you four funk bass lines that you should have in your toolbox and write them out completely free in a PDF that you can download. See you in the video. Hey, James here from eBass Guitar, and today I've got another video from our Toolbox Baseline series. One of the things I've learned over the years is you don't need to know every single bass line in the world. You don't need to know every song in the world. You don't need to know every bass player who played every single track in the world. What you do need is a good working knowledge of how to play different styles. So today I'm gonna to be showing you four funk bass lines which will be super helpful out in the real world which you need to have in your toolbox. So just before we get going, everything we're discussing today, all of the grooves are written out in a completely free PDF that you can download so you can see everything written out in standard notation and tablature. There's a link in the description below where you can grab your free copy. The groove or bass line number one is the foundation of funk and it uses that beautiful 16th note just before the second beat. So this is the foundation of the groove. So it's one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. And what I'm doing there is I'm simply playing three notes, one on the short note on beat one, and then just before the third beat of the bar, I am snapping a 16th note semi-quaver. I'm just literally getting it in there. So one, two, ba -da. And then using that to land on the third beat of the bar. And that is our basic funk groove. What I'm then doing is I'm superimposing that over a four bar chord sequence, which we use throughout the whole of this video, which is simply a bar of D minor seven, a bar of G seven, a bar of C major seven, and then a bar of A seven to bring it back round again. So let me play you that simple funk groove using that sixth theme note one more time. Just before we move on, one little tip I will give you with that bass line is some players, and I do this every so often, plays that 16th note as a dead note. So you might want to experiment with this too. So dom, dom. So listen out for that dead or ghosted note. It's another great option that you can use. So let's move on to bass line or groove number two. And this is more of a gospel funk feel and has more 16th note movement in it. Let's check it out. So bass line or groove number two is my second go-to funk bass groove that I use a lot. 
and it uses these double sixteenth note ideas. So gada, gada is the foundation of the bass line. Then it's got two sixteenth notes to approach the next chord. So the foundation of the groove is this. Bada, bada. So that is the first bit that you want to get down. And what I'm doing is I'm playing two sixteenth notes on beat one, da da, and then halfway through the second beat, I'm playing another pair of sixteenth notes, da da, ba da, and then to link to the next chord, I'm putting two approach notes or passing notes. And these are simply two chromatic notes to lead us into the next chord. And this is really, really common in funk music. So ba da, ba da. So we're going to a G7 chord. So we're going to approach it from an F and then an F sharp, and then that will land us on our root note of the next bar. And then we take that same idea through the chords. So we start off with D. Then to get to the C, we're going to go approach from B flat, B natural C. So go from the beginning. Da 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 then to get to the A, we're going to go approaching from a G, a G sharp to an A. And then to take us back to the D, we go from a C sharp, C rather, to a C sharp to a D. So we end up with this. So let's hear what that sounds like in context with the whole track. Guys, we are halfway through this lesson. I've got a quick favor to ask. If you are not subscribed to the eBass Guitar YouTube channel and you're getting a ton of value and really enjoying the lesson, please can you hit the red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video. What this means for you is you'll be the first to know when a new lesson goes live and you'll never miss an episode. What this means for us is the more subscribers we can get to the eBass Guitar YouTube channel, the more we can keep growing it and keep putting out great free bass educational content. So please hit that red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video. So bass line number three or groove number three is inspired by a New Orleans funk groove. Let me play it to you first and we'll take it apart. So the key to the New Orleans funk groove is those first three notes. The last notes in the bar can be a little bit more looser and you can experiment with those as time goes on. But the crucial thing to get right is this. The bump, gum, bump. So the rhythm there, which is so important, is dum, bum. And that second note is just before the second beat on the last 16th. And then you play the third note halfway through the second beat. So we end up with this. Dum, gum, gum. Then you can add in the rest of the notes. So what I'm playing is this. So dum, gum, gum. So just after the third beat, I'm playing this. So that is ba da da. 
just on the root note. And then on beat four and to get to the next note, I'm just doing a passing note, which is a chord tone. So to get from the D minor to G, I'm going via an F. <laughs> then to get to the C, uh, C, I'm going via a B. Then to get to the A, I'm going via a G. Then to get to the D, back to the D minor, I'm going via a C sharp, which leads us very nicely back into the chord sequence. So in isolation, the bass line sounds like this. So as I said, as you get more experienced with this, feel free to experiment with the back end of the bar and improvise there. So let's try that once more with the backing track to hear it in context. Now for baseline number four, it's time to really turn up the gas. And we're gonna create a 16th note funk baseline, which is inspired by the likes of James Jameson and Francis Rocco Prestia from Tower of Power. And the crucial thing we're gonna do is start using pretty much all of the 16th notes in the bar to create a really busy, intense baseline. So this is what it sounds like, and we'll take it apart. So that bass line simply uses what I call the four power notes, which are the root, the fifth, the flat seventh, and the octave. Now there's one chord where we need to change that to the major seven, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But these four notes are really, really super helpful in funk music. So let's take it apart beat by beat the bass line. So we start off with this, which is two roots, the fifth, and then the flat seventh. So D and A and a C. Then into beat two, we go to the octave, the flat and seventh, the fifth, and then back to the octave. So we end up with this bass line. So that's the first half of it. Then we take a little break for one sixteenth note, and then we play, which is the octave, the flat seventh, and the fifth. And then to finish off, we play this one, which is the octave, the flat and seventh, the fifth, and back to the octave. So if we put the whole thing together slowly, we end up with this. Then we can move it throughout the rest of the chords and it works great over the G7. Then the C major seven is where we need to take exactly the same pattern, but rather than the note which is usually under your first finger, we want to play the major seventh like that. So we end up with this more melodic version. Like so to highlight the harmony and then we go to the A7 chord. Then you can put the whole thing together and just slowly work it up to tempo. If you're struggling with this, 
feel free to leave notes out, particularly towards the end of the bar to give you more breathing space. But this is a great exercise for getting your 16th note chops up. This is what it sounds like with the backing track to wrap up the lesson. So there you have it guys, that is the end of the lesson. There are four toolbox funk bass lines. Feel free to adapt these bass lines to your own needs and to your own tastes once you've got them down. And listen out for them in funk music because you'll hear them all of the time. Just before we wrap up, I've got one quick favor to ask. If you've enjoyed this lesson and you want more of it, I do have more of it sitting over in the Bass Lab Plus at ebassguitar.com. If you're a beginner to intermediate bass player and you want to take your bass playing up to that advanced level and really play the very, very best bass guitar of your life, the Bass Lab Plus is the program for you. I would love for you to head over to ebassguitar.com now and check it out and take the program for a spin and just let me know how you get on. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com. I'll catch you next time.